Juliana Pena was rushed to hospital after a brutal brawl with Amanda Nunez. But the bantamweight championship bout wasn't the only thing she lost that night. So why does she need to see a plastic surgeon now? Plus, why is Amanda Nunez being blasted for a lack of sportsmanship? And why is Henry Cejudo betting against her in her next fight? Stay tuned for all of that and more MMA news coming right up. UFC 277. The main event for UFC 277 was Amanda Nunez against Juliana Pena. Nunez was on a mission to reclaim the bantamweight title that she defended six times before losing to Pena last year. That fight ended with a second round submission, but there was no surprise when a rematch was announced. It was a huge upset win for Pena, and even during the fight, it looked neck and neck. That was until halfway through the second round when Pena caught Nunez with a couple of punches and took her down. From there, it didn't take long for Pena to get the job done with a rear naked choke. That's why the hype for the rematch at UFC 277 was so high. The two bantamweights slugged it out for five rounds but it was Pena constantly getting dropped by the former champion. By the end of the bout, there was no doubt that Nunez had won, and it showed. Both fighters looked battle-hardened by the time the decision was announced, but maybe Pena is a little worse for the wear than Nunez. Dana White revealed that Pena was taken straight to hospital after the fight to be fixed up. He said, Juliana's got a big chunk missing from her forehead. She's going to see a plastic surgeon right now. The UFC president also urged her to take some time off to relax and recover, putting a question mark over her future in the sport. He told her to spend some time with her daughter and have a long, hard think about what she wants to do next, because Nunez was completely dominant in the fight. Trilogy? If you're hoping for a trilogy fight between the two, you might be disappointed. Nunez was so dominant that some people think that another matchup isn't needed. At least, that's what former UFC champion Michael Bisping thinks. On his podcast, Believe You Me, the fighter-turned-commentator said, I think Nunez is the better fighter. I think that was clear. That was clear in the first round of the first fight as well. We clearly saw that she's the better fighter. So we don't need the rubber match. In the post-fight conference, Nunez said, I could have finished Pena, but I wanted to go five rounds to prove I was better than her. After her brief stay in hospital, Juliana Pena said that her injuries looked worse than they were. In a post on Instagram, she said, just a cat scratch that required a few stitches. No chunks missing, no surgery necessary. Love you all. We're one and one now. She also captioned her photo with hashtag trilogy and hashtag Pena versus Nunez 3, making clear that she expects to have a deciding fight with the champion. Nunez was the longest title holder in the women's bantamweight division, and that was only broken when she lost to Pena last year. But that's not all. She's also the reigning champion of the featherweight division and has defended that title twice already. She's got a lot on her plate right now, but it also gives her a lot of options to choose from. Whether she'll be defending her featherweight or bantamweight belt next is anyone's guess, and she said she would talk to Dana first before deciding which weight class she would be fighting at next. Up next, why has Amanda Nunez been criticized for a lack of sportsmanship? And what is Henry Cejudo's surprising prediction for Nunez's next fight. So, don't go anywhere. Sportsmanship Sportsmanship can go a long way in the fight game, and for her comments after her title win, Amanda Nunez caught some flack for being a little too confident. One of Pena's teammates, Bilal Mohammed, had a lot to say about Nunez's post-fight comments. He said, There are moments in the fight where Juliana could have won that fight. Amanda, I felt like, is getting too cocky. She knows that Juliana punches hard. Her eyes were very swollen. She was on crutches leaving. Mohammed was talking about how Nunez said that she extended the fight just so that she could prove she was better, and he wanted to remind her that she wasn't in great shape when she left the arena. Muhammad also thinks that the performance earned Pena a rematch. It went the full five rounds and was one of the most entertaining women's fights in years. He thinks that the scorecards don't tell the whole story and that it was much closer than it looks on paper. But a trilogy fight might have to be put out on the back burner for now. Dana White has said that it's likely Nunez could face Valentina Shevchenko soon to defend her featherweight title. That fight is favored over a rematch with Chris cyborg because of how the first one ended. At a Contender Series event, Dana said, Amanda absolutely dominated Cyborg. The Shevchenko fight makes way more sense. Whoever she comes up against next, she'll probably go in as a heavy favorite. Over the last nine years, Nunez has carved out a legacy for herself as possibly the strongest female UFC fighter of all time. Shevchenko versus Nunez Nunez may have just fought, but already people can't resist talking about her next fight. Former two-division champion Henry Cejudo has weighed in on who he thinks will come out on top in a matchup between Nunez and Shevchenko. Nunez beat Shevchenko back in 2017 at UFC 215 to defend the bantamweight belt for the second time, and she had already beaten her once before at UFC 196. But since then, Shevchenko has gone her own way to build up a very impressive record. She returned to flyweight and won the title from Joanna Yionchechik after just two fights. As of today, she has defended it seven times in a row to extend her winning streak to nine fights. Having dominated the division and 
all of the top fighters, she's now thinking about moving back up to bantamweight, but it means facing the woman who gave her the last loss of her record, Amanda Nunez. But Henry Cejudo has a surprising prediction. He has said, For the third fight, I'm actually going to go Valentina Shevchenko, just for the simple fact that Valentino has gotten a lot better and she's the younger fighter. Cejudo thinks that Shevchenko is more committed to fighting at this point because Nunez now has a wife and a child. While Shevchenko is looking to make her own legacy and become a two-division champion, Nunez has already completed many of the goals that most fighters aspire to. It's the kind of motivation that could make the difference at the end of the day. But Cejudo could be wrong. Maybe Nunez's family gives her extra motivation. Top Target The trouble with being the champion is that there are always a bunch of people out to get you. The latest fighter looking to take the crown off Amanda Nunez's head is Brazilian Ketlin Vieira. Her last two wins over Holly Holm and Maisha Tate have given her some momentum, and now she has outlined her career plans. In an interview with Troca Chao Franca, Vieira said, My dream is to become champion, no matter how. I want to be the female version of Jose Aldo and become the first Amazonas-born UFC champion. Jose Aldo is a hero in Brazil and is thought by many to be one of the best MMA fighters of all time, and the pride that Vieira has for her country makes her conflicted about fighting fellow Brazilian Amanda Nunez. She said, I never wanted to fight Brazilians, but there's no other way. I want to make it clear that I don't want to fight Amanda. I want to fight for her belt. I've earned it. Vieira is convinced that she's a tougher matchup for Nunez because they're closer in size. She thinks that Nunez used her size advantage against Pena and that's how she secured the win. But if they went up against each other, Vieira promises that she would be ready to make it a defining moment in her career. Her record of 13-2 is beginning to look like championship material, especially because because she is now number two in the Bantamweight division in the official UFC rankings. But with so many enemies and two belts to defend, who will Nunez fight next? Do you think Nunez should defend her featherweight or her bantamweight title next? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.